contestants. He's proved himself to be the biggest man in the jungle. Mind you, he was standing beside Anton Deck. It's Westline's <laughs> Kean Egan and his son, Koa! <laughs> Really good. Lovely to see you. Hiya, Koa. Hi. How are you doing? How old are you? Five. Cool. Looking good. Do you always dress like Daddy? No, not always. Just tonight? Just for this special occasion. Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah. Now, how would you describe him? A uh, first-class lunatic. There you go. <laughs> Perfect for this show. <laughs> now, I don't describe him as a crazy singer. <laughs> that you have been to work with Daddy before, haven't you? You can see a picture of you at Westlife Concept. Let's have a look at that. Look, there oh, you go. Look, you're only a little baby. No, oh, I wear those when I listen to Westlife as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it, please, Thank for Kian and Thank Koa! <laughs> wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Hey, Kian, you're up next. We ask Koa this. What's the silliest thing oh, Daddy God. does? <laughs> Let's see the options. He skateboards, but he's too old. <laughs> well, I do skateboard a lot, but I'm not too old. <laughs> His Donald Duck impression. Yeah. We'll come back to that. <laughs> Did he say? He plays human buckaroos. <laughs> <laughs> or could he have said... Oh, no. He flies without wings. <laughs> no. Right, so, uh, let's go from the top. He skateboards, but he's too old. Uh, yeah, I skateboard a good bit, you know. So, it's kind of like, and I'm teaching him to skateboard at the minute as well, so he could have very, very, very easily say that, but I don't think he considered that silly. OK, what about Donald Duck impression? Um, he's the only kid I have ever met that doesn't find my Donald Duck impression funny. Well, you know what I'm going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> quite cute in a bizarre know, way. This is my point, and he's the only kid. <laughs> Ever since he was a baby, like, you woke up to anybody and go... <laughs> and they all break laughing. But him? No. <laughs> not a hope. You won't laugh at my Donald Duck impression. What about he plays human buckaroo? Yeah, we do that all the time. You know, he, he's up on my back playing horsey and then I play buckaroo and throw him off, um, yeah. him and his little brother. Right. Um, uh, he flies without wings. You virtually eliminated that straight away. Yeah. I, like, he's not too aware of the whole Westlife thing and... Uh, he's a little bit lately, but, like, he, uh, he would have no idea what flying without wings is. Right. Thankfully. Yeah, I was going to say, look at him. Right. <laughs> Which one are you going for? Uh, I think he could go with the Donald Duck impression. Donald Duck impression. But the big question is, did he say it? What's the silliest thing that your daddy does? Uh, play human buckaroo, and he tries to get me off. He got me off a few times, but sometimes I always stay on. There you go. Longer answer than I thought. <laughs> no, I can't Ian. believe it. Right, let's go to our green room. Let's see what they're up to. Hi, you guys. You're right. Yeah. Nice. Yo! No, he's popcorn and the popcorn thing. thing. Raya, don't have too much sugar. <laughs> don't worry. So tell me, Koa. Yeah. We just heard you talking about human uh, buckaroo. Yeah, and my dad is seventy-seven. <laughs> wow. There you go. See you later. Let's <laughs> the world of their own. <laughs> right. We are back with you for the final time. We ask Cohen this. What's Daddy's favourite part of his body? <laughs> <laughs> Could it be his hair? Maybe he said his strong legs. He may have said his big fat belly. <laughs> <laughs> or was it his willy? <laughs> Show now. It's, 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 it's talking a very, 
very, very scary turn. Uh, well, your hair, obviously, you've had a lot of different hairstyles. I don't think he'd go for hair. I don't think that's something he pays too much attention to. Strong legs? But I don't think legs. His big fat belly? <laughs> big fat belly is definitely something he could say, cos, you know, he could be walking around going, oh, look at my big fat belly, and messing around, you know? <laughs> or could it be the last one? <laughs> <laughs> your favourite part of your body? I really don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I, I would be quite shocked if he came out with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to go with Big Fat Belly. I think, I think it's the closest thing to what I can hear him saying. I oh, hope. <laughs> <laughs> if he says his Willie, he's in trouble. <laughs> Let's see what he did say. Koa, what do you think is Daddy's favourite part of his body? Uh. His big fat belly! That's a big belly. It is truly unbelievable, isn't it? It really is. Right. Right, it's now time for our next game. We've asked our little stars to describe some very simple everyday words. All our big stars have to do is work out what they're talking about. If they guess correctly after the first clue, they get themselves two points. If they get it after the second clue, it's just one point. What are you up to? First up, it's Kian. So whilst I head back to the studio, let's see if he can guess what Koa is talking about here. It used to be for kings when kings lived, but they don't live anymore, so too bad. <laughs> Other people do it. Can't do it in a bath or a pond. Keeps you fit and healthy. You can do it in the sun, am I right, Wendy? They do it on an island. <laughs> oh, cool <laughs> people do it and they do it on an island. What do you think? Ah, uh, I think he's talking about surfing. You think he's talking about surfing? Yeah. Confident? Yeah, I mean, surfing originated in Hawaii and it was for kings originally, so I'm impressed that he knows that. Yeah. The fact that he says you can do it in the sun and the rain, I think, you know, because we go surfing every Sunday back in Ireland and obviously it rains more than the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with surfing. OK, let's see if he changes his mind. Do it down the beach. A blue bottle could sting you if you fall off or a jellyfish could. You have to wear wetsuits to do it. I do it in booties. My dad does it in bare feet. It's dangerous. Because th there's barracudas out and they and when it gets warm, they could go like this. Zoom, they can come right into Ireland and nip your leg off. <laughs> you can go on something like an island board. Chicken! <laughs> That's what they do. Chicken! <laughs> so are you sticking with surfing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, the answer is surfing. We've actually got a little clip here of Koa surfing. Now, remember, please bear in mind, he's only five years old. Look how impressive this is. we get started on the next game, let's bring out the real stars of the show. Please welcome back our little stars, Freya, Koa and Tom! <laughs> Here they are! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Oh, let's be hanging. Oh, hiya! Hi! Yeah, hiya! Where are you? <laughs> the energy! <laughs> right, time now for our big stars and little stars to work together. And here's what's going to happen. I'll ask them both questions about the big stars. They just have to give me the exact same <laughs> answers. The more they match, the more they score. Simple as that. And Koa, get yourselves over here. <laughs> Good luck to you both. Here's your first one. What does Daddy have tattooed on his body? Is it Mummy's face, a map of Ireland, or a flower? <laughs> oh, he's got a 
flower tattooed. Where is it? On my leg. Wow, that's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. You get the map of Ireland on your big belly. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's another one. <laughs> Which member of Westlife would Daddy least want to be in a jungle with? <laughs> is it Shane Filan, Mark Feely, or Nicky Byrne? Choose now. <laughs> oh, no, it was Shane. I thought you didn't know the other two guys. That's why I thought you would pick Shane. <laughs> there you go. No harm. Just don't get the next one wrong. <laughs> right. Let's have another one. Here we go. What job did Daddy do before he was in Westlife? Was he a pizza delivery man, a kisser cram, or Louis Walsh's driver? <laughs> Choose now. You have to guess, Cora. Try the middle one. <laughs> right, no more cheating. Here we go. According to Mummy, Daddy is a secret what? <laughs> is it a superhero, a geek, or a hoarder? Choose anyone you want, Koa. <laughs> Oh, he thought you were a superhero. It really is. Oh, oh that's nice. nice. <laughs> He's a hero to you. Here's another one. What is Daddy good at cooking? Is Daddy good at cooking roast dinners, Marmite sandwiches, or nothing? <laughs> Pick now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nicely done. Right. Well, I can tell you, Kian Koa, you scored two. <laughs> Come on, Colour. <laughs> right, that is the end of the game. You've all been fantastic, but only one pair can make it through to the final play for that jackpot for your charity. And the pair going through is... Sammy and Freya! <laughs> So, commiserations to Kian and Koa and Sally and Tom, but nobody goes home empty-handed. Oh, no, not on this show. We're going to give you a £1,000 for your charities. Kian, where would you like the money to go? So, we have two charities, LAP Research and Northwest Hospice in Ireland. Beautiful.